good and competitive Six Nations last year. We understand that uh, things have progressed. We're up against a formidable opposition. We, we know that. We know the task at hand and we need to be on our game. Uh, but we've come ready to compete. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, I think they were buoyant by the fact of a really good competitive game against the All Blacks, which they finished the Autumn Series on. There's plenty to be buoyant about um, and we understand that it's a pretty big task going there. But um, we understand that. We're big boys too and we've got a pretty good side too. So uh, we're not coming just to make up numbers. We're coming here to compete. Yeah, parky enough, Scott Johnson. OK, let's, uh, we talked about Joe Schmidt in terms of the character and his kind of methods, but what about tactically, the approach to this match specifically? Jerry, you see anything? Well, Scott Johnson is forecasting a very high-tempo game. Hold on to your hats, and there's no doubt about it. Under Joe Schmidt, his teams do play a more high-tempo game. But there will have to, you'd imagine that the more, greater the element of pragmatism, the better. Maul them, play the home game, put them under pressure yeah. territorily, build, build scoreboard pressure to 3-6-9. I mean, Ireland didn't do that in Murrayfield last year. They let the Scots stay in the game. And Johnson has talked about the Scots playing two games within one, up to the hour mark and then the last 20, scoreboard pressure. And they will be obdurate. If you don't shake them off in the first hour, they will mm. be def very difficult they can to shake frustrate off. You. Yeah. Scotland mm. can always frustrate you. If you give them a bit of possession, uh, saw, we saw him once or against Edinburgh a couple of weeks ago. When you sit back a little bit, certainly in round one in the Heineken, mm. they can play. So you've got to get in their faces and shake them off, be structured, be direct, as you say, in the mall. Mm. Okay.